Tell us what it's like working with Lou because this was the pairing you fiction and Lou. I was waiting for all season. Right. Luther is just an amazing, amazing choreographer, and anything that he choreographs, it becomes a masterpiece. And that's why I really wanted to, you know, embrace the fact that you know we have Luther Brown this week, and me and fiction just really showed the world that we can do, you know, a different variation of hip hop. And you know, I felt good tonight. Fiction felt good tonight, so I'm very happy with what we did today on the stage. Well, you look good up there, and I have to say, there's always a moment in Lou Brown pieces where, like, there's just like a moment and a move that yes. just makes the whole piece. What was that moment for you? The, the like specific move? Yeah, was there a okay. specific move? Yeah, I know it's there. So, I know it's there. My favorite move of the whole performance would have to be. It's like this beginning part where we're, we're like leaning forward, like. Mm. Uh, yeah. Favorite part of the whole routine. I love that. That's awesome. And then you flip a 180 and do a pasta doble choreograph by Dancing with Stars Pro, Mark Ballas, who had great things to say about you. Yeah, um, first of all, Mark Ballas, amazing, amazing dancer, amazing choreographer. And this week I was really challenged to the limit. And um, I felt like that was one of the hardest routines I've ever had to learn. And I, I accomplished it. And that just shows that, you know, I can never doubt myself. And different shoes than you used to wearing, a little bit of Latin heel. I, I called that out on Twitter. I'm like, he's wearing a Latin heel. Right. Um, it was a little strange, but I had to. I had to put it on. I had to. I just had to. Well, Mark said when he's having a really good time, he laughs through the whole piece, and that's exactly what he did. He just thought, like, from where you guys progressed from day one to what happened on the stage tonight, he was like, he goes, I can't believe that Keita did that. He was like, so proud of you guys. I was. I was surprised at myself too. I didn't think I was gonna be able to do that. But <laughs> I went out on that stage and I did it. All right, we're, we're now down to top five. Eye on the prize. Like, what is going to keep you in the right mindset leading up to that finale? Stay focused. Do not backtrack. Do not think negative. Stay positive the whole way through until it's over. And, you know, just keep practicing and working hard and it will be accomplished.